The Republic of Iraq, the birthplace of the Islamic Golden Age, challenged to rebuild the nation and secure its place in the global economy, Iraq's location on the Arabian Gulf brings a prime opportunity to create a port that will rebuild the nation's infrastructure and economy and secure its future. Iraq's current ports in Shad al-Basra and Umm Qasr require substantial dredging in the Afal Peninsula to support modern larger ships and the increase in ship traffic required for rebuilding efforts. Even with dredging, the port berths can only accommodate smaller, slower ships, and the port's locations are situated far from the Gulf, increasing the cost of transporting materials. Existing offshore oil platforms have limited capacity, or require extensive rehabilitation, and are vulnerable and unprotected. The insufficiency of Iraq's current infrastructure diminishes profits and cannot support the export of the nation's oil resources. For Iraq to rebuild and support itself in the new world market, the solution is to build a new port, the Iraq Grand Port, to serve Iraq's immediate and future needs. Hanna Sheikh Holding Company is proposing to construct the Iraq Grand Port on the Alfa Peninsula with direct frontage on the Arabian Gulf. The creation of this deep water port will expand Iraq's coastline and provide the port infrastructure needed to accelerate reconstruction efforts and create new opportunities for the future economy of the new sovereign Iraq. Phase one will begin with the building of the offshore breakwater and the breakwater for the access causeway, a reclamation area that will create the footprint of the new port. The plentiful availability of rock and quarry will provide local material that can be easily transported for the construction of the breakwaters and reclamation area. Dredging will also be done at this phase to create an approach channel for the new port. Iraq's oil pipelines will no longer traverse open sea, but will come directly into the new port for offloading to the oil tankers. The creation of the new port complex and the redirection of the oil pipelines create a well-defined coastal boundary that is easier to protect. The first berths will be developed at the edge of the channel to accommodate oil tankers and cargo ships. Paved cargo handling areas capable of moving containerized and break bulk cargo will also be completed. The port was designed to minimize future development costs by building a basic port infrastructure and phasing the expansion. Extensive studies have been conducted to determine the shortest construction time to open the first phase of this new port. At the completion of phase one, Iraq's Grand Port will provide a secure future development boundary, a new approach channel to receive the largest ships not able to enter Iraq's current ports, and an operating port in just 24 months. The Iraq Grand Port will create new employment opportunities for the working population. Skilled Iraqi engineers and technicians will work on the construction of this new port, and Iraqi construction workers can enhance their skills through training on the job. The full development of the new port will provide sizable oil export facilities. A refinery at the port will convert crude oil to refined oil to accommodate the growing volume of Iraqi oil exports and create a range of oil-related industries around the port. The direct pipeline to the port and the ability to receive larger ships will keep Iraq exports of oil and petrochemicals competitive, benefiting the Iraqi economy. Bulk shipment of liquid gas, or LNG, is the fastest growing part of the energy sector, and facilities for this commodity are included in the new port. A platform for the development of LNG and LPG industries in Iraq will become a valuable source of foreign income. The massive scale of this project at full development would overwhelm power and water resources in Iraq. Therefore, future development planned at the Iraq Grand Port includes a power station and water desalination plant to provide the power and water needed for the remaining development of the port. In addition to oil, the new port will provide new opportunities for Iraq in related industries, including general cargo, containers, dry bulk cargo, gas, petrochemicals, and vehicles to handle the growing Iraqi trade. 
these cargoes will stimulate rapid growth and, depending on the availability of other raw materials in Iraq, a variety of opportunities throughout the country may develop a resurgence of other industries, such as agriculture and mining, and enable Iraq to become more self-sufficient in meeting its own needs. The port and industrial development will trigger the need to provide roads, rail lines, and utilities. The extension of the regional road and rail network will provide key transport links between main centers and create opportunities for development in the rural hinterlands. New rail and roadways will transit goods throughout Iraq and across borders to further stimulate economic development. The construction of these transportation infrastructures will benefit thousands through employment and increased trade. A free trade zone for the duty-free import and re-export of goods will be located adjacent to the port operations. Employing thousands of Iraqis in the manufacture of goods and provision of services, free trade zones attract foreign investment, improve production standards, introduce modern technology, and provide further stimulation of regional and national economic development. Area for expansion of the free trade zone is adjacent to the planned free trade zone. The development of the port includes an opportunity for the Iraqi people to develop a new city, equipped with the latest technology and infrastructure for the 21st century. Modern housing for 500,000 Iraqis working at the port and its related facilities will be included in the new port. The first community will house industrial and harbor workers. A town center will serve all the residents and visitors to this new city and will include businesses, retail, entertainment, light manufacturing, and community facilities including schools, recreation and sporting facilities, mosques, clinics, and hospitals. The second community will provide homes to administrative workers for the town center and resort areas. Resorts will be located along the coastline. Visitors will enjoy various leisure and water activities on the beautiful Gulf and marinas will be developed to accommodate private vessels. Future development may include the building of a new airport to serve the port as a cargo hub. The airport will increase the attraction of the area for investment and will also serve the growing tourism industry within the Grand Port. The Iraq Grand Port will be the single most important project undertaken to rebuild and position Iraq as a global international landmark for industry and trade. This new and magnificent port will stand as a symbol of a new world and the promise of a hopeful future.